Uh, now, what happens on the inner corner of the back leg? Inner corner? It wants to go down. It wants to go down. What are you, what the Purusha says? I'm lifting it. You are, li the Purusha says? <laughs> Lift, don't drop it. That, you have to use the objective like that. What does it say here? Stable or unstable? Unstable. Huh? Unstable. Stabilize? Uh, what did you move? Where did you move? Yeah. Uh, now understand all this, because I am putting their knowledge into their self. Uh, now they are done. Birbhadrasana too. They have done. Now, what happens here? Back leg, <coughs> cough muzzle. It sucks in or sucks out? It goes towards the knee or away from the knee? <coughs> the cough muzzle. Huh? Towards the knee, right? Virabhadrasana, see? Never mind, huh? come on, do it. Hmm. How is the heel touching now? The entire heel touches or only part of the heel touching? Part of the heel. Uh, the back heel? No. And uh, then touch the back heel? This end? And now the entire heel touches or not? Yes. Now can you see now? Small, small. That's known as circle steady. And now you also do it. Is your heel became small or broad? It's small. Right? Small. So why is it became small? So why you contracted? So open the why you. What happens now? It becomes broad. Broad. Can you see now? So you, you say stretch. It is nothing. It's all adjustment of why you. Now whatever I showed. Now do trigonasan. We also do. Just I give to do Adho Mukishwanasan, how many ask? I can't, I can't go on explaining, that's the problem. Now, what is the extension here? It's overstretching. What is the extension there? Which, it, which what is the direction of the stretch there? What is the direction of the stretch here? This one is moving down. No, I said speak of the foot. I only said from here to here. I never spoke of the top leg. Okay. Huh? It goes towards the heel. Can you just observe? She said towards the hill. Parirta Parshakonasana. No, pari ah, right, right. <laughs> right. Ah, now, what did you do here on the middle chest? I turned. Ah, what did you do here? Don't. Turned only? Then what did you do? Before turning, what did you do? Went up. Before turning, what did you do? It, I never said bent up. What did you do? Huh? What did you do? I turned the heel in. I only spoke of the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Plan. Lengthened. Plan. Ah. Lengthened. That's all enough. Huh? Now, Trikona, Parita Trikona said. Now, what happens to your buttocks? Flesh of the buttocks. They go in or they go out? They go. In. Now, all this put together is Adhamukashvana. So. <laughs> now, all these points, can you put it into Adhamukashvana? So? You all say Adhamukashvana? No, give them bolsters, it does not matter. Two to bolsters, wait. You can rest your head. Because why I make the head to rest? Probably you do not know, you think it's a resting pose. The moment you keep the head on a bolster, the brain becomes object, not subject. That nobody thinks. Because otherwise, they bump, uh, do without that. Just little. Uh, now they are straining their head to push. So that's why the rest are all forgotten. So I make that an object. Come on, use the... Rest your head. And then, after resting the head, you have to stretch the branch. I have one more fellow to me. Because he is not touching. Uh, now, without shaking the head, just move. Now, in the foot, extension of Ardhachandrasana, distension of Dhirabhadrasana C, sucking the cough muscle towards the thighs. In Parshakonasana, Virabhadrasana, you remember that? Yes. 
then in Virabhadrasana 1, you, you extend from the knee to the head of the inner to the inner head of the thigh. So, how you place the foot, metal tarsals, you have to learn how to keep the metal carpals. No, they don't. This is wrong. Take the, hey, take the bolster to your close knee to the head. This part on the head. Move in and keep the head. You also. Now do it. Now yesterday also Prashant gave you a little clue, but very difficult for you to catch. Now, study this angle. This is nothing but trigonasan, triangle. And study, is it in a triangle way, like the legs? So what happens? The eye consciousness between the armpit and the elbow, they surrender. Raise your head up, or uh, elbow and armpit up. Only I will move the head, I will not move the hands. I will not disturb my hand. Now what happened to their elbows? The position changed or the same? Huh? Now, still the elbow is down, that means the hand is far away. Take it back. What pressure you get on the in, back part of the foot, you have to get between the Venus and the, what you call the moon, inside palm. Here. Here. This is the heel. This is the heel of the foot. This is the arch of the foot. This is the mounds of the soul. This is the toes. And now, this is mound of the toe. How you press the back of the mounds? Do you press the back of the mounds of the fingers, soul? No, you are lifting. I said, this, hey, look here, this one. Are you touching the ground? No. Then, well, you are doing it. Say, 30 years, 40 years, they don't study at all. So the pressure on this mounds, and the pressure of these mounds, the pressure on this part, the pressure on this part, and the lift here, and the pushing this back, all have to synchronize. So it's not synchronizing, the distance is more. Go back, palm. Uh, now head up fast. Uh, now ascend the elbow to descend your head. Don't descend the elbow. Uh, what happened to the spine? Probably you did not see before. Say like that. Do the old one. Forward. Uh, do the old one. Do it. What happened to the spine? Is there any life? Is there any union? Is all the 33 vertebrae? How beautifully they are connected. Huh? Are they? And now take the wrist back. Ascend the elbow to descend the head. So here, the Samana Vayu works, though I'm moving physically. Raise the Samana Vayu straight up to the Apana Vayu. So it is the Samana Vayu which gives the right pose, no other adjustments. If the Samana Vayu is not running well, bottom and top, the pose is going to be wrong. Now raise the Samana Vayu to reach the Apana. Now what happened to her? Don't change the head, only move the Vayu here. What happened? Can you see the back? So each asana, you have to learn like this. So complementary, supplementary asanas, you have to trace. I have traced. But whether you can trace still more and you can give me all the feedback, then I will work out on it. <laughs> now still, see, the collapse has come. So what we do sometimes, no, wait. Uh, uh, took Melka. Uh, no, no, up. Uh, now, do the pose. Now, how, how the pose has come. So, the, in, the, the intelligence was a rock. So, she did not know how to break this rock. So, I broke the rock. So, intelligence started. Thank you, I'm moving. Huh? See, her elbows are so high from the ground. Whether, whenever she does, you can see her elbows are almost close to the floor. And they don't know because the buddhi is so solid. So it does not allow for, the, for its limbs to follow. The buddhi is feces. So now I 
Caution the buddhi and everything else. Now move the samana straight to the apana. Can you see how the back has come? So this is known as all asana standing poses put together is one adho mukha asana. I'm going to have to do that.